In this video, we'll find the total number of atoms in Na2CO3 dot 10H2O. This is sodium carbonate, and then we have 10, so it's decahydrate. So sodium carbonate decahydrate. Let's split this up into two things. Let's first find the number of atoms in sodium carbonate, and then for these 10 water molecules, we'll add them together. So for sodium, let's just write the elements, sodium, carbon, and oxygen. For sodium, we have a subscript of two after the sodium atom. So we'll put a two here. And then for carbon, there's nothing written. We assume there to be a one. So one carbon and three oxygen atoms. Over here, we have hydrogen and we have oxygen. So let's ignore the 10 for a moment. We have two hydrogen atoms and just the one oxygen atom. Because we have this coefficient of 10 in front, we're going to multiply everything here by 10. So we're going to multiply this whole thing by 10 here. And that'll give us 30 total atoms here. And if we count these atoms up, 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 3 is 6. So if you want to know the total number of atoms for Na2CO3.10H2O, sodium carbonate decahydrate, you'd add 30. We have 30 atoms in the 10 water molecules. And then you have the six here for the sodium carbonate. If you were asked to find the number of oxygen atoms, you'd have to have 10 times the one, that 10 plus these three, that would give you 13. Finally, if you were asked to find the number of atoms in one mole, say how many sodium atoms are in one mole of sodium carbonate decahydrate, you take the number of atoms, so we have two sodium atoms here, and multiply that by Avogadro's number. So we'd have two, times Avogadro's number, and that would give us the number of sodium atoms in this compound here. Likewise, we'd multiply one for the carbon, and then for the other compounds, you could do the same thing. This is Dr. B with the number of atoms in Na2CO3.10H2O, sodium carbonate decahydrate. Thanks for watching.